Hello again, Pietro here. Thanks for clicking on by. I got a question from at Chris Carpunky. I hope I answered that question. And he wanted to know, does the Venue 2 Plus track your HRV? Does it? People want to know. I wanted to know. So for the last, well, actually on and off for the last two weeks, that's what I've been testing. And I found your answer, Chris. Let's dive into it, shall we? Now, if we look closely at this watch, we can see that it is quite different than the Epix. This is a higher end Garmin. This is kind of a mid range, I think. And when you swipe up, you know, it's the normal stuff, but there's nothing about training or recovery on this watch. It does do stress, it does do respiration, it does have a pulse oximeter, and this was, is, the first watch by Garmin to do ECG. That's that metal band around the sensor. Whereas even though this is a newer watch than the Venue 2 Plus, there is no metal band, but they are using the same sensor 4.0 technology. So where does the HRV come from? Well, first of all, we have to define that. What is HRV? And so I don't screw that up. I, I'm just gonna read it off my computer screen. HRV simply puts, it's the heart rate variability. So the time in between your beats. So right now, my heart rate, according to my Apple Watch, is 72 beats per minute. If I slap back on my Garmin Venue 2 Plus, it will quickly glow green and it will tell me my heart rate. 77, you can see right there, there's the glowing red and green. 74, 73. I feel that both heart rate data coming from a Garmin or an Apple Watch is pretty accurate and it's consistent. So let's dive into a little bit further. So according to Aura Rings, your heart rate variability, HRV, is one of the key indicators of your recovery status and overall health and fitness level. So not just your, uh, what's it called? The, the vector thing, the, ah, your, <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. You know, I practiced this stuff before I begin filming and I still mess up. VO2 max. VO2 max, it's kind of an old indicator. So then they came up with HRV. And then the newest one by Garmin, of course, is the endurance level. But for that, you need to spend a good six or seven hundred dollars on weather watches. Yeah, specifically your HRV trend reflects how past days, strain, and rest levels are affecting your current recovery status. In the Aura app, you'll find HRV balance, which contributes to the readiness score, et cetera, et cetera. And then you bring in the whole atomic nervous system, ANS scores, which Casio is also trying to get into. And then Garmin goes a step further and it even shows your fitness age, Enhanced fitness age. Our fitness age, yep, vigorous, yep, close. My fitness age is 47.5, which I will take. Garmin thinks I'm roughly three years younger than I am. Sure. Thanks, Garmin. All right. So the HRV is not, it is and it isn't. And that's the confusing thing. If you have one of these watches, like an Epix or an Endura or a Phoenix, you have all these other stats on your watch and within the app. Now you're seeing my Garmin screen. We have the health snapshot, which you can get from the Epix or the Venue 2 Plus. And then we have the sleep score, that's the same. So here are the three huge differences that I've found by turning off the Epix and just wearing this Venue 2 Plus. Number one, no training readiness. So that training readiness, gone, that disappears. Number two, no recovery, and number three, no HRV status, and no training status. So here's the training readiness, the training status, and then if we keep on scrolling down, we have the sleep pulse X, pulse OX, and respiration. So manually, you're gonna see the training readiness and the training status both just vanish. So watch this in, in real time. We're gonna hold down our control button and Come, come. Oh, I turned off touch. And power off. Yes, power off. 
So now that's going to turn off. It's going to lose connection with the Garmin app. And then we'll do a resync. Now it's synchronizing just to my Venue 2 Plus. Now training readiness is there, but it's going to disappear in a matter of hours or a day, even though I haven't removed the epics from my account. So let's try this. Let's restart all the apps. There we go. Now we'll reopen Garmin Connect. It's going to try to communicate to the epics. It's not going to. It sees the Venue 2 Plus. Training readiness is there, but again, it's not going to be there tomorrow morning. It just like goes blank. Now, if I wear the Venue 2 Plus and I keep this on and I connect it once or twice a day, maybe wear it for a few minutes, I get my training status and my training readiness, which means these two watches are basically collecting the same data. It's just if you want to view it, you have to pay more for one of the premium Garmin watches. So we'll continue to leave this off and then it would disappear. So while I had that off, I just shut it off this Epix 2 for a good three days. The training readiness, training status, gone. When I finished a workout, there was no recovery time or, oh, you're going to need 10 hours to recover. No, no, that wasn't there. But it's there now even though I haven't been wearing the epics. Shows my VO2 max, my load, my altitude acclimation. I can click on the four week uh, stat right there, 12 week, six months, and it has all that data, even though I haven't even been, let's see, I bought the epics, yeah, oh, not in January 2nd. So it's taking some of the data from the venue and throwing it in the training status. Likewise, if I go into training readiness, we have recovered and ready. You slept well. Your recovery looks good. Sleep score, recovery time. The sleep score was from the Venue 2 Plus. I haven't slept with this watch in over a week. HRV status, 35 milliseconds. Now, again, I wouldn't be able to see this unless I had connected this watch again this morning. So, yes, it can be confusing. And to answer your question... Chris Carpunky, the Venue 2 Plus is collecting HRV status, but it doesn't display it in the same way unless you have an Epix, an Enduro, a Tactics Delta, or a Phoenix. Uh, probably the Marquis as well. Those are higher than I think those showed as well. It's kind of funny though, because I'll do workouts with the Venue 2 Plus, or I'll do a workout with, uh, it's actually outside charging, the Instinct Solar, come back, turn on my Phoenix, and it's actually, actually, I don't have to turn on my Phoenix. If I've connected it to Garmin Connect in a bit, it will show me my recovery time within the app, even though it doesn't show it on the watch like these two. And that's that's a whole other topic. You know, when, when you have a, a watch, a Garmin, a Samsung, a Casio, an Apple, Ah, Polar, um, Deprivio, Amazfit, any of those. Uh, this isn't the right box, but a Withings. If you display something in the app or you display something in on the watch, the two should connect. If you're displaying on the watch, display in the app. If it's in the app, display it on the watch. And, and one more thing, Garmin, could you make an instant replay for the animations? There's some really cool animations that you see on these Venue 2 ones and also on the Vivo Active, but then you'll miss it and they're really hard to film. <laughs> anyway, I hope that answers your question about HRV. There's also a really nice article about HRV status feature on your Garmin watch, and I'll put a link in the description. It's on a website that I've been following for quite a while, tomsguide.com and let me know if you have other questions. But in summary, yes, the data is there, but you won't see all the nice reporting unless you have one of the higher-end watches. Good luck, Chris, and hope this video answers some questions. Oh, we have a nice cameo from Kate. Say hi. Hi. You're not mic'd up. Get closer, closer. Said hi. Hi. Well, thank you so much for watching, and that's it for today. I'll have another video out soon. And yes, I am the man with two watches. Thanks for clicking on by. Goodbye.